Welcome to another video of ClickView Training by Bharti DW Consultancy. In this video, we are going to understand how to create a comparison, a YTD yearly comparison, quarter, quarterly comparison of data in ClickView. Let's start. In this ClickView, layout you have this icon which says create time chart this chart or this wizard is going to help you to create chart type select dimensions time references and a uh, period set so let's let's see how it works click next in this it's going to ask you to create chart type Click on bar chart. Let's for demonstration purposes select click and here you select product category. Now next the base expression. The base expression is mostly like the fact or the measure which you want to analyze. So in this example, I am taking sum of sales amount. So timestamp, still time field, and it's going to work. So in this field, I am going to select date. You can select any date in your database. It can be sales date, uh, order date, uh, date of procurement, any date. And in the base date expression, this is your comparison. So I'm going to compare the current year, which is today as the base, and compare it with the previous year, the year, uh, let's say 2014, if you are having base date as 2015. Click on next. I'll hold on to this screen for a longer period of time want to walk you through the comparisons which are possible in the first section it says yearly comparison in the yearly comparison you can compare current year previous year change and percentage change and etc in the quarterly, you can compare the current quarter, previous quarter, previous year quarter. Months comparison, you can select months. So you can select 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 6. Week, you can compare weeks, lunar week, and day. So let's start with here. This is the two date mode, which is that it can be. Uh, from the date of the start of the year, for example, YTD, and it's there today, which is you know 323 2015. Click on next. This is an area which asks you what is my fiscal year start date. So I'm going to say the fiscal year starts in January. Let's keep that by default. And this is some default setting. So get the object title, include comparison period, include change, and include relative change. So I do not want relative change, I just want to have change. And say finish. You can see a chart which says, and let me remove. All the selection, yes. So this is the baseline zero. The change is shown in green, and 2015 and 14 are shown in different colors. Let's change the chart display. So I want to have bar, line, straight table, and pivot in the fast change 
For fast change, please refer my previous videos. Click on OK. You can see. So let's analyze this. So for India, in the 2014, you have 1500 for product category and zero. So let me expand a bit. For UK, in 2014, you had Two thousand fourteen, you have twenty seven hundred. Two thousand fifteen, you did not have anything. So change is minus twenty seven hundred. <coughs> so you can display it like this, or here, or a line chart. So this is your yearly comparison. This depicts the picture clearly for India. Product category one, you have fifteen hundred. For two thousand fifteen, you have six hundred. So it is minus nine hundred. It's always the current minus the previous. Now let's do the same thing for quarter. So I'm gonna create time chart. Do the same thing again, or I can clone the chart as well. Let me clone it if that's easier. So I have chart, uh, not here. I go to properties, and in the dimensions, you can change the year. Here you can look at the function, what it creates. It says year name today. This is the function which ClickView automatically generates. Now let's take a look at the quarter. Create a time chart. Next bar chart. Next, I'm gonna select exactly the same thing which I have done previously, but instead of year, I'm gonna select The quarter. Say next. It asks for the start date. Next. So for quarter, it says you want year to year comparison. That means if you have quarter 1, 2015, you want a quarter 114, or this means quarter. 2015 would be compared to the previous period which is quarter 1 2015 so I am gonna select the year say next I do not see the relative change and I say finish so this is your quarterly comparison I can get rid of this And then this is your Jan to March 2015 and Jan to March 2014. You can see that the quarter compared to the previous year quarter. I hope uh, you have understood this. Uh, the similar way we can do it for months, weeks, and all other comparisons. I hope you liked the video. Please keep following the channel. Thank you.